Good to see you, Edward. Okay, game on the debate tonight. Kamala Harris is trying to campaign. She's going to do tax cuts. She's not. She's doing tax credits. That's a far weaker kind of a thing to, for you to have to handle. It is not a tax cut. It's what Bill Clinton did. They're just tax credits. And now Pennsylvania was won by a major, uh, by a razor thin margin in 2016. That's where the debate's being held. Trump has done seven debates since 2016. This is Kamala Harris's first debate since 2020. So the rules are no notes, no opening statements, no live audience, muted mics. Trump will do the final closing statement. Joining us now, RNC chair Michael Watley. So what is Trump's, good to see Michael, what is Trump's strategy tonight? Trump is uh, going to come out and he's going to talk directly to the American voters, every single one of them, and he's going to lay out his vision for taking America forward over the next four years, how he's going to restore our southern border, he's going to rebuild our economy, and he's going to ensure that America is strong enough to protect our interests at home and abroad. Okay, so a majority of Americans, up to 70%, say the U.S., America, is on the wrong track. Kamala Harris campaigning, she's a change agent from the status quo, but now the New Republic reports that Kamala's campaign platform was literally copied and pasted from Joe Biden's old campaign platform. It caught that via a check of computer software. So, Michael, the irony is rich, plagiarizing Joe Biden, the same Joe Biden accused of plagiarizing JFK, RFK, Neil Kinnock over in the UK. So she's already got a dozen flip-flops on policy. How exactly is Trump going to handle the idea that, you know, she may insult the identity of Kamala Harris and he's not going to stick to policy? Well, pr Kamala Harris is not ready for prime time. I think that we have seen that throughout the course of this campaign. Tonight is going to be an extremely bright spotlight, and her advisors have had a very hard time trying to determine whether or not they are going to double down on all of the failed policies that she has championed over the years as a senator, as a prosecutor, an attorney general, and vice president, or is she going to try and walk them back? Is she going to try and flip-flop on these uh, on these various positions? So we'll see where she lands tonight. But the fact is, the American voters have spoken very loudly. They care about jobs and the economy. They care about inflation. They care about safety. They care about security. And Donald Trump is leading in the issue polls on every single one of these issues consistently. And that's where American voters are going to watch to see what is said tonight. And they're going to see Donald Trump remain true to his core message of making America wealthy, safe, and secure again. So Kamala Harris is looking for the viral moment, you know, basically that she could go viral with a moment of being insulted by Trump. So is, Trump's not going to play into that? Is that the idea? Because, you know, Democrats are now leaking to the media. They're leaking to The Hill. They're leaking to CNN. They're leaking to Politico that the Democrats are anxious about Kamala ahead of the debate, that they're saying that Kamala has not cemented the path to win the election, that if Trump, if the election were held today, Trump could still win. So he, she wants that viral moment to, you know, paint Trump as, you know, a nasty individual is just going to attack her personally. Is that going to happen? Kamala wanted to sit down and have notes. She wanted to change the rules that were already agreed to, and now she wants to come in and try and get this viral moment. I think if she were ready to talk to the American voters about the issues that they care about, that's what she would be focused on. Donald Trump is going to be very clear in articulating the issues that really matter to the American voters, and he's not going to have to rely on gimmicks. He's not going to have to try and throw haymakers. What he's going to do uh, is have a conversation directly with the American voters about what he's going to do to make their lives better. Michael Watley, thanks for joining us, RNC Chair. Good to see you.